Mambo Beginnings My Story My Testimony Wonderful viewers thank you for watching this favorite program My Humble Beginnings My Story My Testimony I do believe this this program has been blessing you has been encouraging you and i do believe you have been watching us on look up tv and also you can get us on on look up facebook i do believe you are going to be blessed today i'm having a very wonderful guest who she'll be telling us about her story how she has how she went through life challenges and how she overcame them and i do believe you are going to be blessed as you listen to this testimony welcome mrs manyengo amen how are you i'm very fine in the lord yes yes how have you been i've been okay i've been good uh -huh. that i woke up uh, uh, healthy uh -huh. uh, by the grace of god i've mm -hmm. had a successive day right and i want to glorify and thank him for everything uh -huh. yes are ah, you looking very smart thank you very thank you, jovial Pastor. may god be glorified for that right amen i'm happy to see you i've been looking for you i'm happy to see you today welcome to the program thank you mm -hmm. thank you i thank god for giving me time mm -hmm. i've also been desiring to be here yes and uh because god's time is always the best mm -hmm. and i thank i am so grateful to be here today I know so share. many people are asking, who is this guest? <laughs> tell me, tell, tell them, Mrs. Manyengo, who are you? Where, where, have you, where have you come from? Mrs. Manyengo is a, is a lady, mm -hmm. a woman, mm -hmm. who was born like any other child. Mm -hmm. I was born in Moranga mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. uh, Kangema Sub County, mm -hmm. in a family of, uh, I was brought up in a Christian family. Mm -hmm. um, and I, Schooled. I was the fifth, the fifth born of a family. Mm. I, I was the fifth born in, in, in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I grew mm -hmm. uh, under the care of uh, those parents. My mm -hmm. father was a policeman. Mm -hmm. My mom <laughs> uh, was a Sunday school teacher even in her old age. Mm -hmm. She was teaching Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So she taught us the things of God. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were brought up in the Agrican Christian uh, uh, Agrican uh, Church mm -hmm. of Kenya. Right. That time it used to be the, the Church of the Province of Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, and we grew uh, well. We were ten, mm -hmm. and uh, by God's grace, we were educated. Mm -hmm. My father was able, though the, though the earnings was was so was so tiny, mm -hmm. or was so there were peanuts. Mm -hmm. I one time so. Uh, his pay slip, mm -hmm. and I wondered how <laughs> <laughs> he managed to educate the ten of us. Mm -hmm. But because our area is a tea, a, a, a coffee, a coffee growing area, mm -hmm. and uh, most of us depended on coffee for school fees, mm -hmm. so that's how we were able to all of us to go to school. Mm -hmm. And on, in fact, all of us went to form four. Mm -hmm. And after form four, each and, of, each and every one of us had, uh, took a different uh, career. Mm -hmm. I remember after form four, I went to, uh, I joined the National Youth Service mm -hmm. in Naivasha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that time the training for the women was done in the Naivasha training, uh, training unit. Mm -hmm. After three months of basic training, mm -hmm. I was uh, recruited into the course of my choice. Mm -hmm. I took secretarial mm -hmm. and uh, we came to Nairobi, Ruaraka, mm -hmm. that is where the, the college is. Mm -hmm. That time it was called the National Youth Service Secretarial College. Mm -hmm. I'm sure by now maybe they have changed, changed the name. Mm -hmm. After completion of the two year course, mm -hmm. uh, my God was so faithful. Right. Uh, maybe if I go back. Let me just ask you something, yes. Ms. Manyengo. Yes. Uh, you have told us you grew up in Moranga. Yes. How was it like, you have told me you grew up in a coffee plantation, tea, you used to... We used to pick coffee. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> the, the Did you used to pick coffee yourself? <laughs> oh yes, we well, could even uh, spend nights uh -huh. in the, the coffee factory. Mm -hmm. During, during uh, the season, you know, mm -hmm. you know there are those seasons when now the coffee is ripe. Mm -hmm. We could spend nights because the people are too many. You know, we, when when uh, when we now take the coffee to the factory, mm -hmm. we could find ourselves uh, being so many. The people are so many there. You know, you have uh, you could uh, go there and uh, you select mm -hmm. the, the, this number two and number one. Mm -hmm. Those who know those who grow coffee mm -hmm. know what I mean mm -hmm. by this. Eh? Mm -hmm. So after you select 
then uh, you you pack the coffee into in, into sacks mm -hmm. and then you wait on a, on a queue mm -hmm. for your number to be called. Now, was this being done after schooling or was yeah, it, it was, like no, it was, it was, it was daily life. Mm -hmm. yeah, because th it was mostly in August mm -hmm. and December. That is when the coffee used to be, to be ready mm -hmm. for picking. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you were available, we could find ourselves there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So did you love coffee yourself? What? <laughs> uh, I love, I, 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 that time I had no choice. Uh -huh. Because I was, uh, I was now under my parents' care. Uh -huh. But it was not easy. How was it like growing up? Uh, you have told us eight to eight, ten of you. Yeah, we were ten of us. How was it like growing up? It wasn't easy mm -hmm. because uh, you know feeding ten children. And my father did not have uh, uh, the salary was not in very much enough for mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. But he really tried. He made sure that we all ate. Mm -hmm. We all went to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, each and every one of us uh, was independent now. Even when he, when, when the time came for, for him to resign from the, to, to, to retire from the job, mm -hmm. most of, of us had already gone through school. Mm -hmm. So, how was it like? Also, let me just ask because you have told us your 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 dad was also a policeman. He was a policeman. Was he a tough man? Was did he did he act like a policeman in the dad house? Dad was very harsh. Yeah, he was very tough. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes he could forget he was uh, he, he was he, he was a parent. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't fear when we, we he was around home. Mm -hmm. We feared him, but he was a loving father. Mm -hmm. He was a loving father, but strict, mm -hmm. a strict father, mm -hmm. disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, we all had self-discipline. And mm -hmm. like today, when I see children uh, uh, doing things against their parents, mm -hmm. we could not dare. Mm -hmm. I could not dare. I remember. I my personally feared my father so much. Mm -hmm. I could not even uh, visit uh, my friends and mm -hmm. spend there. Mm -hmm. You could explain to him mm -hmm. who allowed you to do that. Uh, so I was, we, we, I, I was very careful. I was, I, I really tried very much not to go against his will. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he was a disciplinarian. He was a disciplinarian. So you only talked once. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially when, and especially when we we we, we did exams yeah. during school uh, yeah. and uh, the edit term exams. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember we could, uh, uh, we, you know, at home there is a small house and the big house. Mm -hmm. So my mom could tell us, you, you go and tell your father what the what you want for mm -hmm. maybe maybe the teachers want to us to buy some items for the school. Mm -hmm. You know now he, we 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 knew mm -hmm. that the first question would be mm -hmm. how did you perform mm -hmm. in the in the, in the term exams? Uh -huh. Luckily enough, I was not a bad girl. I was a performer in mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. so to me that was not a problem. Mm -hmm. I could courageously go to him and uh, and tell him what uh, I want. Mm -hmm. And when he asked me uh, how I how, how how much I attained in uh, the exam, I could. Mm -hmm. uh, comfortably see mm -hmm. my marks. Mm -hmm. But to those others who could not perform, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a problem. Mm -hmm. So that's how life was mm -hmm. that time. So you managed to grow very d in a disciplined family? Yeah, I grew in a disciplined family, mm -hmm. yes. And you went all the way from primary now to secondary school? In fact, from, from lower, uh, fr from baby class, from nursery, uh -huh. lower primary, mm -hmm upper primary, mm -hmm. even secondary school I scored in Moranga. Mm -hmm. I, I, I only left home when I now joined the National Youth Service mm -hmm. in Naivasha. Mm -hmm. That is when I now I started going far from home. Mm -hmm. But all my life, mm -hmm. my, my childhood, my, my youth, mm -hmm. I grew in, in Moranga mm -hmm. under the care of my parents. Mm -hmm. Yes. And today you're in Nairobi. Today I'm Nairobi. How is the transition from Moranga to Nairobi? How, how Moranga, do you see the transition? He, you know, now the NYS connected me now to Nairobi because after I, after I, I was through the basic training in Naivasha mm -hmm. as a recruit, mm -hmm. after the passing out, mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, advantaged to be uh, include, uh, recruited in the secretarial mm -hmm. team, mm -hmm. which was to join. That time, in the, at the NYS, there was uh, something they could call Kujenga. Mm -hmm. Before you joined the course of your choice, you mm -hmm. could be sent to NYS units mm -hmm. and work, you do some hard jobs, mm -hmm. plant coffee. But luckily enough, uh, 
during my time, there was a class which had graduated. Mm -hmm. So straight from Naivasha, mm -hmm. I went to, to, I joined college, mm -hmm. then the, the now the, Naro, the National Service Secretarial College in Iruaraka here. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have time to kujenga. Mm -hmm. We only went, after we finished college now, waiting to be posted mm -hmm. to government jobs. Mm -hmm. That's when I remember we went to Yata, mm -hmm. Yata Field Unit, where we could uh, do coffee a bit, mm -hmm. but it got just, just for a while. Mm -hmm before we were posted to different uh, parts of the country um, for a job. Mm -hmm. mm. How was it at NYS? Because I do believe we have this uh, mentality that the NYS, NYS is very tough. There's so much training, there's so much also discipline. Mm -hmm. And having come from a background also, like your dad <laughs> is also a policeman, and mm. then you joined to the NYS. Mm. How was it? How, how It was tough. Was it challenging? It was so challenging. I remember mm -hmm. my mom, and my mom took me there. Mm -hmm. You know, I was straight from uh, school. Mm -hmm. When uh, now I was received and I was uh, when when now she handed me over to those uh, NYS uh -huh. uh, uh, NCUs. We used, used to call them NCUs and uh, the non-commissioned officers, those officers when you were gonna, who are training us. Eh? Mm -hmm. When my mom handed me over to them, mm -hmm. and then I saw her going, I started crying. Mm -hmm. But now we could not be allowed here to cry. You no, know, you are told. <laughs> Where can I? Where can I do kuchini? Beba is there was we were given. Uh, you are given your. Uh, what do I, do I call them? The, the, the package, mm -hmm. blanket, uh -huh. pillow, the uniform, but you don't, you are not allowed to put them on then. Uh -huh. So the, 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 the reception itself showed <laughs> me this is not a good place. Uh -huh. But I had nothing to do. I watched my mom walk out, I mm -hmm. could even see far how we had come. Uh -huh. I, could, I felt very sad, but mm -hmm. I had to adjust that life because mm -hmm. now I could not be able to go back home. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was uh, given a bed. We were shown how to 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 now to to, yeah, to make your bed. It was a dressing. That mm -hmm. was there was a style mm -hmm. that you should make your bed. Mm -hmm. Waking up in the morning, you were being woken up at two a.m. Mm -hmm. You go around the camp mm -hmm. running, mm -hmm. and then you are told to. To, 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 to climb an, a mountain which mm -hmm. was ahead of us there mm -hmm. before you start the drills. Mm -hmm. You know the drills are those yeah, lift yeah. like, like uh -huh. a little, oh. after a short while I was, I was, uh, I was made one of those, uh, uh, I, w I w could even train those now who came after me. You could even train those who came after uh, you? After me, I was being called Kadogo. Kadogo. My, I, I, my, ba <laughs> my, uh, my barrack was Ostrich Barrack. Kadogo, Ostrich Barrack, come on, come. So I could teach others who came after me. Just hold it there on that thought. Mm. Viewers, I do believe this story is getting interesting. Mm. That even as a woman, she overcame the challenges of going through the NYS. Mm. And today, she's a woman that the Lord has made. As we are going for a short break, we are coming back. Don't touch that dial. Mm. Thank you. Humble beginnings. My story, my testimony. Welcome back, my viewer. I do believe this testimony is blessing you. This is Humble Beginnings, my story, my testimony. Today we are having a very wonderful guest who she's telling us about her story on how she went through the challenges through the NYS. And from there, I know you do believe you want to hear and what next, what happened. Yes. Mrs. Manyengo, yes. tell us, you are called Kadogo. Yes, a Kadogo. I was was it a nickname? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was tiny. I was appearingly small. So you are very small. I was a small. I, the, way, the way I am, I used to be a small bodied girl. Mm. I, 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 the, the, my body used to be small mm. uh, from those days. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why they they could nick, they, they nicknamed me Kadogo. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, before maybe I could uh, I could uh, I, I should mention this. Eh? Before, after a while, mm -hmm. I started writing to my father, telling her, telling him, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I will make, I, I will make it. Mm -hmm. well, luckily enough, I, I, I had found a lady who came from our home area. Mm -hmm. uh, if you hear about Dr. Keanu, she was a family yes, of yes, Dr. Yes. Keanu, yes. and they, they were, they were mm -hmm. positors. Yes. Our home and our, their home was uh, divided by a river called mm -hmm. Mokongai River. Uh -huh. They were so rich, mm -hmm. and I found her there. Mm -hmm. That's the girl who made me persevere all those trainings. Because uh, when I wrote to my father, he, she, he told me, mm -hmm. you are not the only one there. Mm -hmm. Even those ones who are, who you are with there mm -hmm. are children like you. Mm -hmm. You have to persevere mm -hmm. to the end. And mm -hmm. that is what happened. Eva also 
added to this mm -hmm. and she encouraged me she told me Ruth you know how we, we are I was, I've never had a problem in a, I had, have never had uh, problems in mm -hmm. my home mm -hmm. but I'm here because I know the riches of my father mm -hmm. are not my riches right so you have to work hard mm -hmm. me and youth as we may achieve what is ours and so, so in a nutshell you finished your NYS training finished you finished your college yes and uh, when I finished my college uh -huh. We were selected. In fact, at that time, our class, we were all posted to government offices. Mm -hmm. uh, I was posted to Kilifi. My mm -hmm. first appointment was Kilifi mm -hmm. District. Mm -hmm. And again, I complained to my father and told him I've been posted very far. Mm -hmm. uh, and he told me, you will go there and then <laughs> persevere. Mm -hmm. uh, you, after a while, you can now try to come back. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for my father. So you were posted uh, in Kilifi. Kilifi. And you got a job there. Uh, no, you were posted because I, there was a job. No, uh -huh. you know, you, you, uh, well, they got a job for us uh -huh. in different parts of the country. Uh -huh. Tuma Balimbali, some uh -huh. went to Tana River, some went to Hola, some uh -huh. went to Garissa. Uh -huh. I was posted to Kilifi. Uh -huh. We were two. I, we, I, me and another student, we were posted uh -huh. to Kilifi. Uh -huh. So we were to report at Mombasa, uh -huh. PC's office then. Uh -huh. And uh, he told us he would uh, send separators, one to go to Cliff, another one to go to Kwale. Mm -hmm. I remember we cried to him and told him, no, please allow us to go together because we are, you know, it was our first time to have mm -hmm. come out of our parents' mm -hmm. uh, care. Mm -hmm. So I pleaded with, with, pleaded with him not to separate us and he agreed. Mm -hmm. So he went together with my colleague to Kilifi mm -hmm. and uh, I took two years to in Kilifi. Then so you were working in two years in Kilifi? This is office. Uh -huh. I had, uh, I felt I needed to go back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, rightly enough, there was a team which was recruiting, uh, the NYS recruitment mm -hmm. came to Kilifi. Mm -hmm. And I happened to identify one of the officers who, whom I knew in the NYS mm -hmm. headquarters here. And I approached him and mm -hmm. he asked me, would you like, go, like to go back to Nairobi? Mm -hmm. I hardly told him yes. Mm -hmm. So he organized me, organized, I don't know how, I didn't even believe it would work. Mm -hmm. So when he came back to Nairobi, mm -hmm. I only received a letter mm -hmm. that us now could come through Mombasa mm -hmm. to Kilifi. Mm -hmm. The D1 then was very harsh on me and he was telling me, you, are only, you, have, you have not yet completed three years and mm -hmm. you want to go back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he was almost uh, refusing. Mm -hmm. No, the PPO, the PPO Mombasa, mm -hmm. the provincial personnel officer Mombasa. Right. Mm -hmm. But my D1 in Kilifi told him, no, let her go back, let her go as she desires. Mm -hmm. So let she allows me, allowed me to go come mm -hmm. back to Nairobi. Let me ask you something, Ms. Manyengo. Yes. As we call you, Mrs. Manyengo, yes. now you have finished college. Yes. Now you are working. Mm -hmm. How did you come to meet your husband, uh -huh. uh, Mr. Manyengo? Yes. Yes. So after I stayed to, in Kilifi for two years, I came back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That was uh, to Nairobi, mm -hmm. and uh, that time I was not saved. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I, around uh, late 80s, I mm -hmm. got saved, mm -hmm. and I was going to the Gospel Outreach Church in Shan Cinema, mm -hmm. Gara. Mm -hmm. Then, then uh, I, I, I could not, I didn't know my husband then. Mm -hmm. But after a while, we like. Uh, when 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 we left uh, and gospel outreach mm -hmm. to join the gospel revival, mm -hmm. we, we were opened a church in Kawangware here. Mm -hmm. So those of us who come from this side, mm -hmm. we automatically now became the ones to to start the mm -hmm. the church in Kawangware. Mm -hmm. That's that is where I met my my husband. Mm -hmm. But first of all, we were in a, we were we were in, we were choir members. We were you were singing in the choir in the choir. Uh -huh with him mm -hmm. and uh, that is where friendship starts picking up mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, Let me just ask, how, how, how many years have you been married to Mr. Mm, Manyango? I've been married uh, for like over, over 20, I was married in 1992, December. 92. December, mm -hmm. yes. Since 92? 92. 92, December. Till to date. Till to date. Uh -huh. And I'm, uh, I'm expecting to continue this way until Jesus comes back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me, how many children do you have? Yeah, so have four children. children. Four children. Two boys, two girls. Uh -huh. Yes, and they are all strong. Mm -hmm. They are all through school. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has not been easy. Tell me about what are the challenges like bringing up the four children? What has uh, been no, I, When I got married to my husband, mm -hmm. uh, I found him when, he, uh, you, you see, <coughs> as, I have, as I have explained, mm -hmm. I, have a pan, I, I have a permanent job because yes. I, I work in, with the government. Mm -hmm. I found him uh, working with the Minister of Energy, mm -hmm. Agroforestry Department, mm -hmm. Esther Kaju Ribara. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we started together that way. Mm -hmm. After a whole, imagine, after we got married, mm -hmm. soon after we got married, mm -hmm. a few months after we got married, mm -hmm. the, the casual, the, 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 the job was terminated. Mm -hmm. It got uh, finished. Finished, uh -huh. So, he stayed without a job. Mm -hmm. But he had, uh, he had some other, he had some courses like artisan. He had mm -hmm. done artisan. Mm -hmm. He had done uh, electrical wiring mm -hmm. and tree grafting. Mm -hmm. He's very good in tree grafting, mm -hmm. nursery, mm -hmm. uh, landscaping. Mm -hmm. But he engaged, he, he engaged himself in making the jikos. The, you, you see the, mm -hmm. the charcoal jikos? Eh? Mm -hmm. That is what he has been doing for a while. Mm -hmm. He's a loving husband, he's, he's so supportive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would want to encourage women here. Mm -hmm. When you are married to somebody who does not have a job, eh? mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I hear some women say mm -hmm. uh, they cannot take what is a duty which, which is not theirs. Mm -hmm. They cannot educate children when the husband is there. Mm -hmm. I have done it myself mm -hmm. because uh, I know mm -hmm. not that he chose not mm -hmm. to have a good job. Mm -hmm. He did not choose not to to be a, in a good place where he could be able to to support his family. Mm -hmm. And maybe that is why God had to bless me, mm -hmm. that I may be able to support him. Mm -hmm. It has not been easy because you see now the four children, Walianza uh, Shule Wakiwa Dogo, Nikawa, the goodness with me that I could uh, now apply, I could access loan. Mm -hmm. I could access school fees loan from mm -hmm. my circle. I had mm -hmm. joined Harambe circle. Mm -hmm. uh, every year I could apply for, loan, for school fees loans. Mm -hmm. uh, that time, <coughs> It was not very much, but, but d d d due to how the life was then, mm -hmm. it was not easy for me. But mm -hmm. I thank God that uh, I have been able, we have been able with him mm -hmm. to bring our children where they are. So bringing up those four children, mm -hmm. it has not been an easy journey. It has been, not, not been, it has been an easy journey. And again, you have just said like your husband also had stayed for some time without a job. Yes. Uh -huh. He has never had a job. In fact, uh, he's a self-employed uh, uh, He's self-employed, mm -hmm. yes, and even today that is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And imagine with the whatever is he gets, mm -hmm. he makes sure he supports us. So maybe, but uh, mm -hmm. his earnings could not at all mm -hmm. uh, be so able to to sustain, to sustain the family. our feeding, mm -hmm. our the children's education, mm -hmm. and all the needs, mm -hmm. all the basic needs of mm -hmm. our family. Mm -hmm. So you can see, uh, uh, single-heartedly, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't easy for me. As a mother, you stood with him. I stood with him. At those moments. At those, I really stood with him. Mm -hmm. I really stood with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could not even want him to have a time of uh, like, uh, like uh, despising himself mm -hmm. because of uh, maybe he's not able to... Mm -hmm to do what any other man can do. Now, like a, as a wife now, did you have any challenge at those particular moments, Very especially much. financially? Very much. Did you have so many challenges? Very much. I had financial constraints because mm -hmm. sometimes the children could be chased away from school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God because the children were so bright. Mm -hmm. But imagine they could be sent home mm -hmm. for school fees. Mm -hmm. I could go to school and talk to the teacher. And I thank God I had favor with the teachers because the children also proved to be bright. They, they, they worked hard. Yes. They worked hard and mm -hmm. they, that is what they encouraged me. Mm -hmm. They worked hard mm -hmm. so I could be allowed, maybe they can let them come back. Let one of them, who the firstborn, mm -hmm. was so bright. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I remember the headmaster mm -hmm. could even tell the director, let Philip come. Mm -hmm. I will stay with him in mm -hmm. school. Because of the way he was bright, was doing good, he was disciplined. Mm -hmm. But the other one now, the girl, mm -hmm. I was not able to take him. Sometimes I could not be able to take her back to school immediately. Mm -hmm. Those are, you, know, you can now imagine the, how, mental, how, how disturbed she was mentally. Mm -hmm. But after all, I, 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 I carried myself mm -hmm. up and I was able to, 
to, to support her, she went back to school. I remember she stayed one year at home. Mm -hmm. Without a job? Without, without, without going to school, because mm -hmm. I had taken school fees loan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my, the, the first one was joining a um, boarding school because mm -hmm. that was it was compulsory mm -hmm. for them to be to be in a boarding school when we reach seven, thirty seven. Mm -hmm. So that they may they may be taken care of care mm -hmm. of well in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. So I had taken school fees for, for them both, but the the, the headmaster the, the principal the principal the, the headmistress told me no. I will give I will I will write this to Philip because mm -hmm. he's the one who is is joining boarding mm -hmm. and this one put me down because mm -hmm. I had no other place that I could get money. Mm -hmm. I'd already taken school fees and I could take it annually. Mm -hmm. So my daughter like stayed home for a while. Let me just ask you this Manyang, because I see my director is telling me about time. Mm -hmm. Now how will you encourage somebody who's there and watching you mm -hmm. who has gone through uh, that kind of a challenge? Mm -hmm. How will you encourage somebody who has gone through what you have gone through as a mother and even also as a, as a mother, as a husband, as a wife mm. in the family, what would you encourage I would somebody? encourage anyone outside there, especially wives mm -hmm. and mothers, mm -hmm. um, to, take their, to take it as their responsibilities, mm -hmm. to start with the family, even when the, the other partner is not able to, to provide, mm -hmm. you take it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because these children are yours, mm -hmm. And uh, they may not understand the differences that you, the, 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 they may not uh, the understand the challenges themselves. Mm -hmm. So I would urge them to really persevere and mm -hmm. take to themselves and uh, start in the gap, mm -hmm. not to fail the children. Mm -hmm. I thank God today my children are all, uh, all uh, they are all through university. Mm -hmm. they are, some of them are working. Mm -hmm. It's only one who is uh, currently not on, ju on job, but I'm expecting her to to get a job uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. I would urge them and I, uh, I, would, I would really plead with those mothers to be to be to be real mothers mm -hmm. to be real mothers and real wives because mm -hmm. the, the bible says a, 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 a wise wa a woman mm -hmm. builds her house mm -hmm. and a foolish one uh, pulls it down with her own hearts mm -hmm. so i would encourage them just to start as women mm -hmm. and strong women mm -hmm. and fight for their husbands when they are not able to, to provide for, mm. for the family. Wow, Ms. Manyengo, I, I do believe your testimony is encouraging. Mm. And I do believe your testimony, I do, it's long. So. But because of time, mm. my viewer, I do believe this is your favorite program, your humble beginnings. You have just heard how she told us that she grew up from a humble background. And she came up to this particular point. She stood with her family, with her children, and I do believe there is somebody who's watching us there. Mm -hmm. I know the same God who did it for for her, sh he, ca he can do it for you. Viewers, I do believe you are blessed, and I, and I know next time we will be having more stories and more testimony, mm -hmm. and I know you are going to be blessed. Thank you very much for keeping to this program. Beginnings. My story, my testimony.